when I move to the left, Jimmy's right-handed. He would move to the right. Oh, Don. Sorry. I'm going to do the intro. Welcome back to D&D. &D. Uh, where we last left off, uh, Lou was the absolute fucking MVP of the last session. One shot her. Five little goblins. All went splat. The party did find out why, or may have found out why, uh, looking into the past of the kingdoms is not exactly okay. And uh, they found out a language that is somewhat forbidden. And holy shit, guys, we had a full party last time. So. Hi, Jade. <laughs> so you just like ruined Simon's intro there. <laughs> nice. I think, I think that's what Jade them. said. Was she asking for, do you want chicken nuggets? <laughs> what, what were you asking there, babe? I know no one could see me, but geez, I'm just shaking my head. I might get Jade with a D's nuts joke when I get to work. No, don't do it. I don't. Come on, no. Can I do it? Please don't. Gonna. Don't do it. I'm gonna. I'm here and do it. No. Here and do okay, it. I got an idea. Reverse psychology. Do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see reverse psychology. <laughs> Oh, damn it. One second, I'm just gonna let someone know I'm streaming. Okay, so, um, where we last left off, you guys were at the library. I think Judy would call it the library. We were at the book learning place. You <laughs> Hey, hey, there's nothing little about Junior. You still have that eat old cat. I don't want to know about Junior's cat. You can't dick joke here. I'm not. I'm. I'm... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's happening? Oh, wait, if Tiny, I'll keep going. Uh, we can keep going. Hey. Right, let's go. What's that? Right moment. The the DM is buffering. <laughs> yeah. I am buffering. I am just literally I tell you, I am literally um just sending someone a link to where I'm streaming. So you're at the library. Mm -hmm. Uh you are well uh I heard a bidding. Hi right, Tiny. Good day. Uh, Miguel is literally surrounded by dead goblins and covered in viscera. Yeah. yeah. Which is, you know, standard. A good kind? Uh, it's goblin viscera. So this is all. So that's what happened when one of the goblins exploded and some just splattered onto them. And then when, you know, goblins were dying left, right, and center. Your viscera Dan, died after last session. Oh. Yeah, um, tiny MVP last time. Yeah, it's just a one shot at 21 damage. Goblins exploded. In the whole last session, I killed two enemies. In the whole of one turn, tiny killed seven. No, in, the turn, in one turn, he killed five. He took about two or three turns to kill the others. Almost did oh, it again. No. Almost did it again, but uh, unfortunately, he rolled low for his damage. I know what we're going to do when the, the, this, this party starts. This is a party? No, you, well, still whatever this... you still haven't decided your team name, I think. But, yeah, we can get that. Um, team name, Junior's, 
Um, baby Singh Junior Division. The baby The baby What's what are your names? Oh, the babysitters. Uh, <laughs> who are you babysitting? This big boy here. This guy. Junior. Strike a pose. Are you gonna do like a Ginyu force pose or like um, Randy Orton when he comes to a ring, just arms up, I... one arm higher than the other, looking at what, looking at one of the hands? I'll leave it to your imagination. Okay, Steve Austin pose. Just come up, flipping the middle fingers off backwards. Okay, so you guys want to explore the library. Sorry for dragging you into this, Dan, because you bounced early. Because oh, look, look, uh, look Junior's going to add a collection. If it happens, ag- one book. If it happens again, it happens again. Are you in on the early? No. Okay, good. Uh, the rest of the party decided they're going to explore the library to see yeah. why the our goblins here so all, mm-hmm. all the goblins dead all yeah. 10 of them you can see five okay. corpses and a very big puddle of uh blood and component parts where near where miguel's actually standing because that was all what right. happened when tight ty- when uh lou let off his shatter all right um Yes, we are doing that team pose. Tiny right. I have horses in my head. They're gone. Right. Uh, I think Junior is going to investigate the corpse he killed. Okay. Roll a survival check. Yeah, survival. Last yes. Time we found a jester mask, and then they all start speaking. And then we got One of them starts speaking, but everyone heard it because this was addressed to everyone. All right. Okay. Survival check. All right. Hey, I got, I'm proficient in this. Okay. Oh. God damn. 20. Uh, you find a short bow, a, a scimitar, a Ooh. jester's mask. Toothpick. Toothpick. You, you, you see Junior just basically using the scimitar as a toothpick, and then he's like, oh, okay, there's, just, there's, some, there's some meat in here. <laughs> uh, you also yeah. find... Um, a scroll. <gasps> I found Reedy Reed. <laughs> I and he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna try to read it. Can you read Goblin? Can I roll a deception and say I can? Mm, what's your language proficiency? <laughs> um, half orc and common. No, you can't read it. Can, can I just pretend I can't? You can look at it. <laughs> I'm going to roll the right. deception. I'm, I'm going I'm to see if you guys can beat my deception. Can you beat a 15? <laughs> right. Uh... Sorry. You roll an insight. <laughs> uh, you don't insight. roll deception, it's insight. Oh, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> Like, yeah, we know you both. <laughs> you know what's amazing is that uh, Miguel's like 20, like 10, 15 feet away. He even knows you're not looking at it properly. You're holding it upside down. He's like looking at the back of the... No, no, no. <laughs> he's holding, it, he's holding it sideways. <laughs> yeah, what's this mean? <gasps> the sequel to the little caterpillar. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, Dan. You, you'll become too powerful. <laughs> Can't have it. All right. Um. I. I was basically. Like, Can anyone read this? Can uh, anyone read no. Goblin? I don't. I can't no. read Goblin. I read Celestial if it's written by the stars. All right. He's gonna put it in his pants. Again. Great. He's gonna come Jesus. out really, really damp with sweat next time. It's gonna come. I'm just gonna say someone might want to take that off him just in case, because that might be important. But oh, no. oh well. But if you want, yeah, you know, oh, can just be left. It, 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 no, I'll, I'll keep it in a good. I'll keep it in a dry place. Um, 
in one of his many, many pockets. Is that going in his pants? It's going in the pocket of his pants. <laughs> that little caterpillar book is just covered in like goblin and uh, half orc junk. Half orc. It's it's so he knows he can keep it safe. This is my book. There are many like it, but this one's mine. <laughs> me smart. Me read so well. So, Wynn and... Iron Army. Iron Army, that one. Yep, I was going to say Lou, but then I was like, wait, no, that's also Tiny's character. Just so yeah, they're... yeah, I'm dumb, because are... I've had two Lou's. Yeah, they are deciphering what again back at the place? They so are, the you know that... that we got from the original place, yes. Yeah, the yeah. books that you got from this, this library, but it's in Sylvan. So they are back yeah. just looking through it, trying to find anything and everything worthwhile. Because they are yeah. the only two who can read it. Suspicious. That is you hear? Scary. I can just imagine this in the back of Junior's mind, darling. Don't say anything. Just like a little thing, and then Junior's going, "Stop that voice in my head." I thought I got rid of you, common sense. Sorry, darling. Not that. You're not that lucky. Oh. <laughs> Alright, um, so, so, um, I don't just like that, that wins become Junior's version of common sense. That's it. Common sense. Stupid. Alright, um, so we're going to investigate. You can investigate the, the library. Yes. Yeah. Yep. You have three levels to go for the basement. This current ground floor, or the first floor above that? Uh, I can like, see well in the car. Like, I, 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 I gotta feel yeah. like, uh, so we, I think we should just leave the basement for last, because that's like, I gotta feel that's gonna probably be like, where they keep the, the good stuff. Quick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, can you just imagine the librarians? Quick, hide the pawn in the basement, quick! <laughs> Don't I'm tell that. Junior's here, present. Um, what, so... He's gonna judge your porn. What was that though? Pretty sure I'm meant to be able to cast light, but um, it didn't didn't say anywhere my character. There is like always the ability to split the party, but if you'd like to roll like a perception check right now to see anything oh, yeah, or everything can... on this floor. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll roll a perception. Oh damn, Jesus! Right, what, the... Um... what the fuck is with this? Not twenty. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. So um. Is it dark or is it a, is it a light in the light? Oh no, it's it's a fully lit. All right, um, let's. It's fully let's lit, so it's if... giving Lou. So Lou is getting a bit of uh, ow whenever he looks at the light. All right, I'll I'll, I'll join you in the perception game. Nine. Okay. Me, me, and Dylan are on the point. You are seeing a ceiling, and it is looking fine, nice, flat, flush. Nothing bad about it, and surprisingly, and surprisingly, not covered in blood. Yes. Can't have that. Can't. No. Can't have that. Goblin ta um, Junior takes one of the goblin bodies and like flings out at, at the ceiling. Jesus <laughs> he just it to the ceiling. <laughs> Rose trans checked. Oh. Okay. Okay, not only do you pick up the body, not only do you throw it up onto the ceiling, it ca the ceiling caves in a bit and traps the body there. Nice. He, 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 you know, um, he puts his fingers together like to pull like I guess to make a square, and he's like, he's like, he's, he's looking at the box body, and like he's see seeing if he's done it right. Like, yep. Oh. Yep. Beautiful. I don't know why, but when I just saw when I picture Junior just doing that, it's like um, Austin from O three, where O two when uh, Rock was on this heel Hollywood phase, and he just Austin just gets it, picture up, make sure that the Rock is just like on pop, and just gives him a second stunner. All right. Um, is that O three? So do, do, do we want to stay as a team and go up each floor? Like investigate yeah, each floor, yeah. or do we want to separate? We should we should probably stick in the team, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. That is that is entirely your decision. You can split up, but I'm just gonna uh -oh. say with Josh's second nat twenty of the night, there is no one here but you guys and the dead and the dead goblins. Right. What's up with the ceiling? What What do you mean it wrapped around the body? What does that mean? As in the I mean, body I mean, has it... gone into the ceiling, and it's, it's where the body is hit. That's gone through, and the body has literally just been trapped there. See the wait, did trip. I make a wait? Did I make a meat sandalier? Yes, <laughs> basically. The body right, who's this Damn, junior? I like his well. All right, um, <laughs> I am sure we investigate the basement. Yeah, so now yeah, let's have a look at the basement. Ate a body. Yeah, let's okay, go for it. If you if you want, I can throw another body. I can throw another body at the ceiling. No, nope, please. Oh, I mean, oh. this is. I'm sure this is like the king's library. So no, no, this no, is the public library. Oh, oh, is this the public one? This is the public one. The king's library is in the castle. You are you okay. are in the town. Then that's fine. Just go crazy. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He's like, he's like. As soon as you said like, he was like, he was like, eh, nope, Then nope. you hear Wind's voice in the back of your head. Don't do it, darling. I will get a fucking leash for you. But he said it was okay. He's talking to himself. <laughs> All right. You guys um, are just watching yeah. as, as uh, Junior's just talking to himself as his own common sense and trying to say, no, don't do this. <laughs> yeah, they didn't know. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I'm, I'm Junior's going to head to the basement. Okay. Right, yeah. We'll yeah I'm going to head to the basement with Junior. Yeah. Um, I've seen before, Sai. My my character, like as a as a part of my race, I'm meant to be able to cast light. Okay. Um, if if, if you um, need a light, I can cast... light a torch for you. Surrounded by books. Saves you. Saves you. Well, back to the basement. So... Okay, as you go down to the basement, because I don't have another map ready, because I'm an idiot. You've used this <gasps> set of stairs here. Picture all these, like, book stacks and whatnot. Yeah. Okay, you can use that one or that one. But either or. Um, you go down to the basement. It is darker. You hear what sounds like dripping water. It's somewhere. It's so somewhere far off. But you can hear it, but you can't pinpoint it. It is darker, but... As you go... F as you step into the basement, the light does seem to fade quite a bit. To where your vision would probably be about half of what it would be normally. All right, um, Junior's gonna take a, he's gonna take one of these torches from his bag, and he's gonna light it with his tinderbox. Okay, that would light up your surrounding area, but it wouldn't light up a big massive area. It would only light ah. up about up to about here, ten feet away. Like what I'm gonna do is, because obviously he's gonna stay lit. I'm gonna, he's gonna chuck it, if, where he can't see any, and he see any light, right? Where basically where he can't see. Well, I feel this is gonna win badly. So he's gonna. Do I need to roll a thing, or does it just chuck it in this? I can see. Uh, see roll a strength check. All right. Then roll a one d four. Okay, strength check. 24. Okay. Your strength is good. You get a good throw on. And so you, you want me to roll a d4? Yes. Oh, God. And you throw it's it behind weird. you. <laughs> how, what the, how did I do that? You just literally let it go as it was at the back, as you were winding up to send it that, send it, you'll throw it forward. You're, you were going so fast, it slips out of your hand and goes backwards. Who's behind us? Um, bookshelf. Oh no, he's oh, oh, Jesus no, no, Christ! Oh, no, right, I, well, uh... let's quickly put out that fire before it starts going off. Oh no! Can I use chill touch on the fire? You need stamps up the fire. Roll me another one day four, Dan. Oh no! He's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna spread. Oh, no. no, that's good. That that is actually quite good. That's good because uh, if it was gonna be low and even, it was gonna set fire to something. High and even, 
it was just going to hit the floor. It hasn't hit a bootcase. It's near a bootcase, but it hasn't hit the bootcase. I pick it up and was like, I meant to do that. All right. So, oh, we're going to move forward? I don't, Tito. Yeah, you can yeah, do. That's, that's enough, yeah. Simon, what's in this basement? Let's have a look around. Um, as you can see right now, you can see very full bootcases, very empty bootcases, and how tall are you again, Miguel? Um, four foot ten. <laughs> <laughs> like four foot five, I think. Yeah, you see a stack of. You see a stack of books, bigger than you, on the floor, about five feet in front of you. Right, okay. Um, I've oh, got no, dark vision be... as well, so would that I be takes... able to see a little bit better? You can go up to 60 feet in dark vision, I think, and it would be like your see. Shit, what's dark? How, what is the thing with dark vision again? Because I forgot. Uh, I just had a look there, so I can see... Uh... Oh. Uh, a special sense that allows a creature in a five E to see dim light as if it were bright light, and see and to see darkness as if it were dim light. Okay, up to a certain listed uh, radius. Where does it? Where does it say this on your sheet? You, for a duration, it doesn't. I've looked on Google. <laughs> okay, you can see up to sixty feet, and it would be like it's very very dark, like it's like grayscale. But you can see it. Yeah, yeah, it's like grayscale. You can't see in um, you can't see you can't, in a kind of... Yeah, it's like uh, you can see grayscale, but you're not seeing colors. Uh, you see rows, and I'm talking rows and rows and rows of bookcases. Some have stacks of books taller than you. Some, some even taller than Win. And she's a six, and she's five foot nine. The only two people, the only uh, three people that you know that will probably be taller than these stacks of books. Lou, Ayanami, and your very, very brand new friend, Rimmy. Right. Right, okay. Okay. Um, are we going to... Right, so we're looking for something on the history of the place, right, okay? Yeah. Like... Is that correct? Right. Can I... Is there an index in the library where I know what section to go to? Like... Mm. It probably is like uh, on the first floor. I'm guessing. Down here looks more storage with the way that happened. With uh, roll perception check. E everyone, roll perception check if you want. Oh no. Uh, perception. Oh, you have to roll perception check to see if you're gonna get eaten by the floor. Wow. What the fuck is with this not twenty? I have oh. literally no idea. Dan, this is more like what you should have been rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Tiny's rolled a 15. Okay, so Miguel, Darkbane, and Lou can say that these books are placed haphazardly. Junior is unfortunately looking at uh, where he threw the torch and is going, Oh, that wasn't good. That could have set fire. Oh, That's very not good. Should I throw it again, but throw it harder? No. Nah, no, I think we should just leave it for now. Uh, so we shouldn't uh, set the library on fire. Uh, uh, please don't. Oh, not while you're inside, darling. Yeah. Right, common sense. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just seeing him talk to himself again. It's like, what the fuck is he doing? Right. Um, um, it's just more like, yeah, it's more a like haphazard. It's like a storage for books. So. There could be a system, but for right now, even with that Nat 20, you're just seeing like books upon books upon books and rows of books and rows of bookcases and bookshelves and everything there. Um, Junior's going to move forward and he's going to like... How far forward um, are you moving? Are you going to be moving like 5, 10, 15 feet in front of your party or just like to the next row 15. of books? Okay, so you've got about... You've gone down uh, two rows of uh, bookcases. And he's like, he's going to look for, like, can I roll an investigation check to see, like, 
anything's been like moved recently, like disturbed oh, yeah. dust. Disturbed dust. Yeah, do it. Yeah, or like if anyone yes. wants to do that, just do it. That'd be fine. That. Oh come on, Dan, you're gonna get that twenty. Zero. Oh, oh the fuck. <laughs> Fire it would have been. It would have been a two, negative negative two modifier, zero. That is an unnatural zero. Fire is pretty. You are enamored Whoa. by it at the moment. Don't touch it. It will hurt you. It's like uh, I don't trust your common sense. I think you're lying. But he's not going to touch the fire. <laughs> Um, with with uh, Dark Brain Six, uh, you it's looking at like the books to see if anything has been changed, but you can't really tell because basically first time you've been down here. Mm -hmm. Uh, with Miguel's twelve, it's kind of the same. It looks like some you're closer to the stairs. Some fresher books have been added, just so that you know they can be rotated out at some point. To be rooted right. back onto the first and set the uh, ground and first floor. Can I check what kind of books they are? Like just oh, like of course you can. Of course you can. Roll another investigation check. Gonna get twenty. Oh, eleven. All right. So many things about cow shit and its uses in farming. It is unbelievable. So it's. It's just it's just books, guys. <laughs> no, that that anymore. the book that uh, Dark Bane has picked up has been all about agriculture. They all about agriculture? No, no, the one that you've picked up is all about agriculture. All right. Um, like, is there like any like structures in the basement? Like, uh, I don't know, like some like statues or like anything that's been like looks. Oh, looks 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 a bit older than the actual like upstairs bit. Uh, from what you can see with your torchlight, no. But right now, no. like I said, it's only going about ten feet out on either side. So all you're seeing is like the book, like bookshelves, and a right. bit way down the aisles. So you're not really well, seeing that much. Shall we move forward? Yes. Yeah, we'll move forward. Yeah, Miguel's Miguel can see. Uh, basically down some rows, and it's just like one big, big wall. Right. Um, nothing right. at the end of. Nothing at the end of, the um the row he's looking at. So um, where we are, no one's carrying a torch. Am I right? Because obviously, besides me, oh Junior, you've got yours, right? Okay. Because I thought you chucked it. He did. He <laughs> went to pick it up. up. It just like. He went to pick it up before the thing burnt. The, before he burnt the place down. Right. Okay. Good. No, this is the second library he's not gonna burn down. And this is the second week in a row we've had a full party. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Before I forget, um, next week will be the final session of the three week session we we'll have. Then I can take. Then we can take a break for one week, and we'll come back the following week for right. obviously more. All right. Um, can I roll an invest? Oh, would it be perception or an investigation to see like if there's any bookcases next, like behind walls? Uh, you'd have to go up to a wall and investigate. All right, I'm gonna go. To, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go go to the wall of a bookcase, like resting behind it. Okay. Junior's gonna do the classic thing he always wanted to do with a bookcase on a wall. Rip it off. Oh no! He's gonna he's gonna take he's gonna he's gonna look at the book and he's gonna look for the biggest book he can find on the shelf and he's gonna pull this. Okay. Roll first things first. Roll perception check. Oh god! Come heavy. on, Junior. You, you can do it with it with advantage because you're like right up close to one. Oh shit! For ye... twenty-two. Okay, you find a bookcase with big fat. Heavy books, and you choose one at random and pull. And then you pull, and the book falls onto the floor. Oh, no secret passage. Is there anything behind it? 
he's, he's, he's going to honestly he's, he's going to basically until someone tells him otherwise he's going to keep on pulling books off pulling box and dropping them off dropping them on the floor <laughs> just like tossing them behind him yeah like <laughs> keep your passage where you go um, um I really don't well, think there is one <laughs> Right, just just the last check for it. Am I able to investigate for an air current? Yes, you are. Right. In fact, you have yeah. probably the perfect device, or Junior has the perfect device for that. Oh yeah. Oh fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Will you? We'll use. Uh, we'll use Junior's torch. Is it still me rolling or? Yeah, uh, you you can roll an investigation check. Okay. Thank you. You would just roll a normal. So that fifteen. You see a small, you can see the it going back and forth, but going more towards you know, the, the stairs that you right. came down than anything. Yeah. Okay, so no, no, no. Uh, it feels um, like Start we're probably wasting time here. But it, it feels like it might be a bit of just plain storage in the yeah, basement. Well, there's tons of books yeah. there. You could always. You, the one, only because Dylan picked up one on agriculture doesn't mean there's other books there that's not worth looking at. Mm. All right, I've I've books he's chucked on the floor. Can Junior pick up one to see if he can find something useful? Yes. Oh God, it would it be an investigation or would it be a oh. investigation because you're picking up a book oh. you're looking at it. Seven. It's another picture book, boys. It is. A, a book about a fish. About a fish? Oh, is it a picture book? Oh my god. Yes, got the it is. Fish. It is another picture book. I found something useful! And he shows like the pictures. God, you've got to keep these. Simon, you've got to incorporate these into the story, I swear to god. <laughs> After these many years of adventuring, Junior has retired and become a, a famous picture book artist. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, I'm picking up another book. I got a 15. Um, for some reason, what's your language proficiency again? It's uh, Celestial and yeah, common. common. Yeah, this looks familiar. It's like the book that um, Win and I and Army have. And it yeah, has. But yeah. But there's one um... problem with this book. The Some of the pages are very are water damaged. It uh, it looks like it has been taken very, you know, it has been taken very good care of. The cover's been ripped off. The the title, you know, like someone has taken a knife to the to the spine where the title would be, and it just like hacked that little bit off. Right. But it is intact, and it looks like something that might be connected to that other book. But is it is it is it a copy or is it like another oh, one of them? Uh. Can't, you can't tell. Right, okay. Probably just keep the book. Yeah. Keep uh, the book. It looks of importance, so it seems of importance, so, yeah. Tiny, do you want to roll anything? Why Tiny not in chat? Well, Tiny is in chat. Tiny he is here. He's asleep. Yeah, I've just been on um, quiet. <laughs> Don't you lie to me, I know you've been sleeping. No. <laughs> no, no. No, I've just been I've just been resting my eyes. <laughs> no, I've 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 been, I've, been, I've been taking a bit of a backseat to this one. Also, Did... and also I'm totally not looking up to level up my character because I totally forgot because I definitely did not forget to do that before today's I'm session. Tiny, tiny, <laughs> tiny. Yeah. You know the significance of Kenya. No. What? Why? You know the significance of Kenya. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't hear that. <laughs> you know the significance of Kenya. I still didn't hear that. <laughs> Do you know the significance of Kenya? But he doesn't. Uh, if it is what I think it is, <laughs> I'm going to leave the call. No, wait, no, that's Ugandan Knuckles. Never mind. 
Oh, um, no, no, no. This is worse. This is worse. No, yes. no, I don't know. I, but just for the record, I fucking despise Ugandan Knuckles. It is the worst fucking meme that has come out ever. It's no. toxic I thought, and I thought, shit. I thought you Ugandan Knuckles died. Well, yeah, no, it did. Dead. Okay. And, and uh, I'm glad it is. Okay, uh, as I've just... Uh, kind of got tiny talking again, and thankfully so. Mm. Uh, would you like to just check yeah, on any I books, sir? We're all stupid. What we meant to do in this basement? Um, or the ceiling upstairs ain't a corpse. <laughs> Look, Lou, okay, you know what Lou's been doing actually? Lou's just been fucking sitting down and like, you know, catching his breath because he's used up all of his fucking spell oh, slots yeah. and his, like he. So you know, me having a nap is um not mean not I I totally did not have a nap. You had a nap. Me having Tiny a nap confirmed. would actually make total sense for Lou right now. <laughs> okay, um, Tiny, uh, Lou is just kind of just resting against one of the bookcases, mm. out of breath, with Artie just going, "You okay, boss?" Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, Artie's not that kind. Uh, oh, but, no, hey, I'll, hey. I'll, it's... no, 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 how, I'll, how's this for? Gen- I'll, I'll make a general investigation check, though, okay. just to see if there's anything. Not 20. Oh. <laughs> I swear to God, uh, no. Well, no, it's a 16. Um, well, this actually helps, because Tiny's resting his face right against... Lou's resting his face right against another one of those books. Hmm. Mm, the leather bag. It's Lip, just wonders on my skin. I can just imagine. I can just picture that Lou just rushing against that Artie. Hey, found one. <laughs> or you know, he's Lou's just deal, real, you know, dealing with junior shenanigans and just sort of lightly bumping his head against the bookshelf and a book falls off. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Yes, yes, yes! He's smacking his head against the pop. Comes up, bops him on the head. <laughs> Damn it! See, Julia really is useful. <laughs> he threw the book at him. No, he just. This was Lou literally banging his head against the bookcase, and a book fell on his head. Hmm. Right, apart from these books, is there anything else of importance in this basement? Um. Mm-hmm. Miguel actually sees a cup, a book, one book, and yours is your language proficiency is a dwarven, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This uh, book, this book will interest you. Um, it is one that says the dwarves were originally. Oh, thank you, GeForce Game Driver. You're ready for upgrades. Yay. Um, it is of the. Of uh, a, you know, a village of dwarfs that existed just as the kingdom was starting to be formed, so they hadn't expanded all out yet, but they have retreated. But you know, as you're looking through it, it says it also has some dwarfs faced persecution from not only um, the elves but all the humans, the tabaxi, some halflings, and they just went. Fuck you guys, we're going to our own place and we're going to make our own kingdom with Blackjack and Hookers. <laughs> right, okay. okay so a bit so of is, do, you, do you tell the group this or are you just like, read this? Uh, no, I, 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 um, I inform the rest of the group. Alright, when Paul Jr. here in Blackjack and Hookers, he's just like, take me to this magic land. <laughs> Lou gently pushes his face out of frame. Um, um, oh. With that, <laughs> your investigation, Tiny. I'm just going to point one more thing out. There was a book on the drow king on a drow kingdom. Hmm. Interesting. Would you like to investigate that book to find out what it says? Mister yeah, Drow. Right. Got gotta gotta. You know, be aware of the of the sub. Uh, I was gonna... <laughs> oh, oh God, I can't remember subterranean. That's the word I was looking for. The the subterranean cousins. Um, the subground I, I, people. I try... 
Yeah, I, I was trying to very, say I was trying very hard to uh, avoid saying subhuman cousins. Um, wow, yeah. that's how you really feel, man. Um, no, oh, it's just because, like, but yeah, like that shows where my mind is. That uh, but like not even, not even just Lou as a character or anything like that, but just just as a person that. That is the word association in my mind that it goes from that, you know, I think sub and I think subhuman. Hey, dwarf friend, you're subhuman. <laughs> Jesus. No. Well, well, yeah. well, well hello, um, well, hello, subhuman. <laughs> hello there, you potato who sprouted out the <laughs> ground. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've just no. pictured that Lou just going to what a dwarf that he knows. Well, hello there. Oh God. <laughs> um. No, but yeah, no. He picks it up as well and has a has a quick read. Okay, we do. Often it. He's Lou's been stealing a lot of books from the library. Like, I can't believe you're one of those guys who steal books from a library. God, get a library book, like a library card, man. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like mm. to investigate, have a l quick perception on this, Boop? Just a quick Come one. Come on, not uh, one, not one, not one. Dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just because Junior's doing low rules. Uh, oh, soft 20. Wow. Soft 20? Um, okay, this one is very, very, very interesting. Because uh, the Drow Kingdom that it mentions was, was originally a kingdom of elves. It was the kingdom of elves in the forest until a very, very not good day, and uh, the jester of the solar ruled in. He rocks up, has several dragons under his sway, and that settlement is destroyed. And the survivors go, "Okay, this is a bit too dangerous," and go underground. Wait, who? The jester of the solar. Okay. Yeah. He rocks up, and these drow, these soon-to-be drow, just go. Well, fuck this. Living on the surface is far too damn dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> so they go to the t uh the underdark. Oh, that's that's a funny joke. <laughs> yep. Oh, no. They go into the underdark <laughs> to make it's their like own it's kingdom. It's like it's like, I mean, that's literally what, pretty much what the fucking English settlers did, where it's like, oh, England sucks, we've got to go to a better place, let's go to Australia. With fucking drop fires, no thank you. <laughs> drop, uh, I was just, I was thinking about, you know, the fucking seasonal bushfires, the seasonal floodings, the goddamn ten decade long droughts. Um, You're surrounded by a fucking ocean just to salinize that water, drought solved. Yeah, we've been looking into it. I'll, I'll just just as a quick tangent into I, I this is actually okay. So just as a quick tangent into uh uh, uh into what shit that goes on in Australia. First of all, that is a that was a possibility that we could do to deal with uh, potential water shortages, but we don't have the population to qualify the cost that it would actually take for to open up desalinization plants, and second of all. A lot of the places where we're getting droughts are outside of uh, easy water access. Uh, access, like pipeline access. Uh, so that wouldn't, so that really wouldn't be feasible anyway. Uh, and on, and again, it's not necessarily that we don't get enough rain. It's just that it's very localized. Um, so yeah, that's 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 just a little insight into Australian uh, life. Right. Okay. And next Jeez. week, um, uh, and next time on Aussie lets you know, we'll find <laughs> out how transfers are not that bad. Okay, stop being bitches. How how what are not that bad? Tarantulas. <laughs> tarantulas. Yeah. Yeah. No, tarantulas yeah. are sweet little babies. Yeah. So yeah, it's the other little poisonous little fox that you have to worry about. Yeah. Yeah, no, there are plenty of there are plenty of spiders in Australia which you have to watch out for, but tarantulas aren't one of them. 
let's <laughs> let's let Peppa Pig show you that spiders mean you no fucking harm and get banned in Australia. Yeah, did you guys see, did I did I show you that the rest of you guys that? I think um, you might have. Uh, uh well, I'll, I'll just grab it real quick. But um, ah, uh, fuck, where is it? Uh, da, da, da. here it is. Uh, copy the link. I think this. Okay, so I put it. I think this from yeah, my house yes. place. Okay. Yeah, so I put it in memes. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this. So yeah, this is this is fucking hilarious. Because everything in Australia wants to kill you. Oh no! Give it a ca- give a kangaroo want. a chance; they will kill you. Oh yeah, no kangaroos will absolutely fucking drown you. Like that's not—I'm not even joking. That's the way that humans are killed by kangaroos. Like kangaroos can rip open your intestines with their fucking claws and shatter your ribs with their feet. But no, what they do—they lure you into water and then drown you. Yeah. It's crazy that. <laughs> Sorry, I just like I just, I just I just imagine this, I just, I just imagine it, it's just like, oh, aren't you cute? But you call me cute, you bastard! I'm gonna drown you. Yeah, no, like, look. okay, hold up. Oh god. Oh, this um, is oh god, don't look up kangaroo drowning because the first result is a case of a kangaroo that drowned a dog. Uh oh god. Hold up. Here we go. Uh I can just picture a kangaroo was like a little chibi thing going, You came into the wrong neighborhood now, you motherfucker. You're gonna die. Oh god. Guess what that kangaroo was waiting for? <laughs> Uh, a human being Hopefully. stupid. Yeah. Hey, what up, motherfucker? You're gonna die. Jesus. <laughs> Get out. Jesus. He's actually wrestling in a crocodile. <laughs> uh, well, no, no. Cro- no co- actually, I don't think crocodiles and kangaroos are usually in the same areas. Because uh, one of the other one. are usually fairly north, and uh, kangaroos are a bit... A slightly bit southern, more southern, because they um, they tend to go on plain land where they can jump around and shit. <laughs> anyway, uh, fascinating uh, 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 lesson on Australian uh, fauna. Uh, but back to the fucking idiot drows that went under into the underdark to be more safe. <laughs> Yeah, um, Tiny, you know what a hookar is, don't you? This is not, this is above game, right? You know what a hookar is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they went. Through, uh, these drow went to go with them and other things. Yeah. They went to go. They went for the hookers. God, the horror. Geez, they are horror dogs. It's a. I I hate what you said. I just chose it. I know the what you bird said. Bird turtle monster with the fucking hook hands. That's multi-attack. Mm. All right. Uh, so um. You we... also, before we go, before we get too far, too distracted, um, you yeah. see a name that looks very familiar as one of the leaders of the Drow who's going under, into the Underdark. Hmm. And familiar as in, you are very well aware of this last name and. Oh boy, is that striking a chord within you? Hmm. Like a fucking drow. Fucking weird ass drow. I just need to check something with you on your sheet. Okay, no worries. I'm, I've checked. I'm fine. Okay. I've just All checked right. something. I'm tiny, and I'm fine with that now. Alright. Well, Lou pockets that book to, like I said, to to read more of it later, but... You pass on the fact of uh, the jest that came in rocked up with with a few dragons that laid waste mm-hmm. to a lot of settlements. Mm-hmm. Legit. Yeah. 
yeah, this boy ain't to be blah. This boy ain't. Well, the jester isn't, <clears throat> as at this point, being uh, made up to not be uh, sniffed at or laughed at, and uh, he's living up to his name. And that was yeah. 800 years ago. How long ago was it? About 800. Okay. And from the voice you heard last time, the jester is li alive and kicking. Oh, that's uh. He's you're that's great. Like that. Yeah, two although, and two goes together you know there. What? Although you know what, Lou is an elf. Elves, you know, they live for like usually a thousand years at a time. So, uh... Lou is <laughs> an elf. I didn't know that. It's on his character sheet, isn't it, Tiny? Yeah, I mean, also, uh -huh. I mean, to be fair, Lou does usually keep his face covered and, and a hood up, so you probably wouldn't have noticed his pointy ears. But, uh, yeah, no, him. it's just like, it's like, oh, yeah, he's, he, 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 this was around 800 years ago. Oh, the Jester's still alive? It's like, yes. Isn't that, oh, wait, that's right, you mortals die after, like, after, you know, you maybe barely reach adolescence, don't you? After yeah. maybe a century, you die. How sad for you. <laughs> wow. Okay, so... So, you, so does Lou say all this, or is he like... Is he really, is he really all that information? I mean, he, sa he says that... Uh, he tells them about the drow being destroyed, and right. that it was the Jester that did it, so that means that he, he that the Jester is still around. Um, all right. He doesn't, he, and he's just like not not particularly surprised by that fact. Alright. Cool, cool. So, oh, so, so we're heading back up. Uh, yeah, let's let's head upstairs. Uh, Lou, cool. the tiny, the the ceiling upstairs ate some ate, ate a corpse. What what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Alright, so. Um, as we're as we're leaving, um, Junior see is seeing like piles of books, and he's basically being that guy. He's like, "Oops!" Like he's knocking them purposely. Yeah, being a douchebag. <laughs> yeah, or, and his common sense kicks in, going, "Darling, you might not want to do that. That's extra work for people." But it's Who not fucking extra work for uses prestidigitation to clean shit up? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like basically, Didn't stop use that. Magic. Pre press the digitation is a cantrip it can be used at any time yeah All right, go yeah right. uh, lose the fat of a hoi, a hoi floydy elf he's not going to uh, cause a mess for people I can't yeah, wait for later on in the campaign tiny I really can't oh. right. it's gotta be fun for you I swear to God, yeah. if you put me into an anti-magic zone and then cover me in shit, I'm leaving. <laughs> no, 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 it's nothing to do with that. But now you've given me the idea. Oh, no. <laughs> no, so no. Is, you no, can, um, only hope it, Junior. no, I wanted to play into your, into your character's backstory a bit. Yeah. Just All remember, right. I remember that. Uh, I haven't said anything. Uh, I haven't said anything. Uh, <laughs> So he has an interesting backstory, eh? Of course he does. Oh yeah, shocking, shocking! The mysterious warlock who always keeps his face as a fucking. Uh, Who's basically mysterious... a mummy. <gasps> He's from the uh... past. All right, so why up? So you go up to the f ground floor, which you've already investigated. You can investigate again. All right. Would you do a perception check to see if anything's moved? So you, want, you want to see if that if that corpse has fallen to the ground yet? You can, if you would like. Yes. Nine. That's he's one a, tough. He's a... That ceiling looks tough. I wonder if I could take a second one. <gasps> Since you said that. Oh God. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Twenty-three. Yep. Happens again. Ceiling eats a corpse. You run up to the one of the second corpses, you throw it up, and the ceiling just eats it. I should charge for this. You should charge for this. <laughs> Personal meat chandeliers. <laughs> I 
I just I, I just look at this and I think what horror have I unleashed onto this world by allowing this man to live? Hey, you shot at them, right? You shot at five. Uh, yeah, them. but I was nice. I at least cleaned up after myself. Shot five of them. Uh, making, you you know what? Rules of dust. Is him cleaning up? If you, if you, as long as you don't look up, out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, I've just realized I never cleaned myself up, so I've just been walking around with <laughs> fucking body parts all over me, splashed in blood. <laughs> Jesus Fantastic. Christ, how horrible. It looks like he's just walked out of a horror movie. Mm. Yeah. I'm no a, shell shock expression, though. It's just like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should clean myself up a bit. <laughs> yes, yes, you should. And Luke, <laughs> I mean, there's no, like, there's no magical effect for it. But like, just imagining fucking Luth throwing a fart into his face and then it cleans him up. Like, because prestidigitation does fucking lots of shit. I just oh, had like, um fucking Piccolo's clothes beam going through my head there. By the way. Close me! <laughs> Close me. My most macro attack. Oh. Uh, the, the, the greatest, the greatest ability in fucking uh, Dragon Ball Z. Which doesn't get used a lot. I no. think it's only used in uh, the Saiyan Saga, the Cell Arc. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I mean... How many opportunities is it really going to show on screen of Piccolo having to clothe a child? Which is <laughs> what is yes. useful. The thing is, that when it gets to the boo arc of, where's the dragon reader? Oh, it's in my other pants. <laughs> How many pairs of fucking pants do you have? You don't have a house. Okay. That's what meaning uh, that was like. Oh. Uh, you you... You know that, that Gohan invited Piccolo to come live with them. Yeah, they did that during the cell arc. Alright. So, so, what's up, Bon? Yeah, are we gonna like investigate the present floor? Well, are we are we gonna head upstairs? We can head upstairs. Okay, so get up you... the floor from the body. Yeah, you see, um, you see small humps in the floor where the bodies are. Now, rule of perception check. Oh, no. It's always a fun thing. You know, yeah, there is, isn't it? Oh, that's not a good one. Oh, you got all your good rules out there, man. Uh, and that's plus four because I've got of my... Because of my... Ah, uh, boys, I'm warming up. Oh. Now, this what? looks like some pristine floor. These are good. These are solid... These are bookcases where everything is arranged, everything is just perfect, spot on, there's nothing on the floor. All you see is like two humps where you've thrown bodies, that's about it. Everything is spot on. And at the end, because isn't like bright, very brightly lit, at the very end of where the rows of bookcases are, are like desks for studying and copying and your know, reference material and such. Right. Do I see yeah, any yeah, extra yeah. since I rolled an 18? Um, you see on the closest table to where you are is yeah. a stack of books. Do you need to go the, to the books to see if you can find this final sequel too? <laughs> Little caterpillar. A really late game item, Dan. Can't have it too. It's gonna, it's, oh man, it's gonna it's, it's gonna be the key ingredient to make the altar weapon for Junior. <laughs> really want it to be it's like the book hammer or something. <laughs> All right, gonna let's get okay, those books. Two. Um, these are very very thick and very wordy. Not your special element, Junior. They have many big words. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it at um, Lou and see. Read. Lou just looks at you and just throws it back in your face, like "fuck you." 
You say please. Uh, okay, please read. <laughs> Blue just once again throws a fart in his face. Um, <laughs> and then he reads the book. He, he's just smoking because he's reading the book now. It's like, yeah, you read a bitch. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, we're going to start a fight. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize how much of a peacekeeping force my two NPCs were. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Lou, like, okay, you think that Lou's a fucking hoi floating, I mean, yeah, he's a fucking hoi floating at Alpha Jet, but he's fucking petty as hell as well. Um, I remember still, the last yeah, campaign, so, like, how petty that got. Good lord. <laughs> There's gonna be like a scene where me and, uh, Dark Bane and Miguel look through books and the other two are like, just like in a massive fighting cloud in the background. <laughs> Fucking uh, Tom and Jerry um, shit. Where Lou just yeah. comes out on top. Well, I always come out on top because I've got the ability to throw farts in people's faces, so. Um, You've got the moral high ground. Okay. Now the junior! I have the high ground! Oh, oh no. He's, he's gonna do... Junior's gonna do a suplex if he does that again. Bugger! <laughs> Anyway, Lou, Lou, Lou's reading the book. All right. uh, it's in common. It's uh, just basically a fisherman's handbook, and it's like, okay, this is these are the seasons you want. These are the very. It's like, it's basically how to fish. For, it's for the book that Junior threw at you. It's a how to fish for dummies. Ah, uh, but is it, is it, is it, Junior? He's like, is it maybe this for you? Is it, yeah, but is there... Is but is there a picture of the author, and is the author a character we know in the past campaign? No. Damn it. <laughs> the old hag. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, um, I caught you drinking that. Just taking a drink no, away, please. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I've just got a bit of a of a dry throat. Um, yes. So now you get the secret ingredient. <laughs> you get the secret ingredients. Oh god, no, not seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh can I do a quick investigation of the stack of books then? Yes, you can. Yes. Yes, do it. Is that uh an eleven? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um you see, which you see some more history. You see some more books. Uh, a lot of them are just reference material for magic. There's something on Schrodinger there that uh, Darkbane would probably find interesting, and there's also one about the continent of Proclarouche. All right. Okay. That's it. I will. I need to get my first campaign notes out. Because this is, I want, this is how you spell the, this fucking god damn it. Okay, uh, I may have, fuck, one sec, I just actually need to get this up, because I can't spell it worth a damn. Sorry. Use, oh, fuck, uh, that's, that's two, one sec, uh, balls on a stick. Yeah. Oh Damn. shit! I can't spell that. Okay, uh, this is for your notes, Stone, because I know you're fastidious in this. What the yeah, fuck is that? I need you. I, I pressed. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> you telling me you pressed the wrong button? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that is about uh, a, a place. <laughs> Not that far off, called Pro- Proclarouche, and it is. It also has something on uh, Heather Hollum Cove. Interesting. Um, Tiny should recognize right, that I name. No idea. Well, I, I know that name. I don't know it in character, but I know that name. <laughs> Like a 
we've gone. Uh, what was that, Tom? Can I pop it? We've gone. Uh, is it Schrodinger? Yes, you can. Right. Um, no, I'll take I'll take the book of the with the Procula Rouge on it. See with what the with... handy. Oh, it might. I never know. <laughs> I mean, probably yeah. I mean, what's it? Uh, you may or may not run into that, but I don't know. <laughs> right, okay. A sec, and she takes over! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No. Oh, God. You remember her, Dan. You flirted with her. The Your past character flirted with her daughter. <laughs> look, look, my past oh. character flirted with many characters. You even <laughs> flirted with her. Nah. Yeah, you did. Join a blank. I've got a video of it. Ugh. I've got a video of it. Jesus, I've got video that's of it. incriminating. <laughs> I recorded all that shit. Yeah, I've been secretly recording you. <laughs> well, I'm streaming it. <laughs> but uh, you also, uh, as you read, uh, not only do you hear of Heather Hollam Cove or Island, you also hear of a t you also read of a town called Gulliver that's about uh, half a day's sail away from it. Right, okay. And if you guys want to see what uh, uh, Proclarouche should look like, I can show you if I've still got that first map. What kind of place is it? Uh, let's see if I... Do I still have it? When's the best visiting time of the year? Uh, since it's like... Off, like, off, ah, there like, is. Cheap. One sec. Spring. No, that's far too stretched out. One sec, I'm just going to deal with this. So, um, Josh can show, Josh will so show the, um, where or what the continent looks like to the other players because there's a map of it right, yeah. in the book. So, I'm going to drag all you over to here. And you see this continent. Ooh. All right. What? So, uh, so since this is a map, Heather Holm's there, by the way. Oh wait, right. that's it. Heather Holm is there. Mm. A place called Barnacle Bay, that is a very, very cursed place, is up here. Oh, Barnacle Bay. Barnacle Bay. Yeah, you also read under Barnacle Bay. Do not go there under any fucking circumstances, lest you die. Sounds nice. That's, <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to say. Just got to write note. So what you're saying is it's a good idea for for vacations. Yeah, it sounds like a great holiday. Let's go. <laughs> so there could be uh, an oh, adventure yeah, in the cool. setting for campaign one. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, how would you have campaign one? So that's a uh, no one. Only Tiny knows what happened in campaign one, Tiny. and that wasn't even finished. Yeah. I don't have an idea for the ending. Uh, Tiny, do you want to know what that was? It was all a dream. <laughs> no, it wasn't a dream. I'm not doing that Dallas shit. <laughs> Spoiler alert! Lou was in a coma the whole time. No. I knew it. No, 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 no. No, it wasn't that. Uh, they were going to go up against uh, not only vampires, but uh, after that, demons. And then beat the demons. Demons and vampires? Well, demons, vampires were first, then demons would be coming in after they finished the vamp after the party would finish the vampires. But that never got to take place because 
uh, reasons. The, I mean, I, we were meant to pick it up in January, but because of what happened, I just wasn't feeling that campaign anymore. So it's just like, nope, done. Start new, self finish. Alright. Right. So. You. Uh, if you want to investigate any other books, please feel free. Cool. Uh, Junior's going to Junior's well, gonna try to find a secret passage. Why that Jesus amazing. Christ, again. Rule a uh, perception check. <sighs> Come on, boys. I'm, I'm, I'm actually good with this shit. Eight, hey, nah. nah, boys. You go up to Sorry. a pair of windows. This has to be a secret passage. <gasps> I jump out the window. No, <laughs> don't do that. You just press up against them, trying to open them, and they just swing open, and you okay. almost fall out head first. When Josh <clears throat> found them books, was that just him generally looking around? Uh, yes, it was. Some of it would right. stand out, others would not. It's like based off what your um your language perception, your your language proficiencies are, and what. So it looks good. Okay. What well, yours know, piques your interest more? Since this isn't the basement, can I look for an index and see if anything stands out that way? Yeah. Okay, is this investigation. Um, nice. it's right near Junior. Actually, it's standing, going up. It's in common. You see reference. Research, gods, religion, that's all mixed in with gods. You see on the, that's on the left side as you go, as you come up. So on your left side, that's all down that side. On your right side, there is kingdom history. Obvious, you know, the, which could be obviously um some fabricated stuff or I don't know. You haven't gone down there. Excuse me, I am tighter than I thought. Um, there's also like um, agricult more agriculture stuff, fishing on your right, and um, like there's one other thing I want to put on. And I can't remember what the fuck and it was. And knocking, it's a bit awkward, but yes, you you find the index on knocking. <laughs> there's no <laughs> index. Yeah. Very small thing. Yeah, it's just like different kinds of knocking. No, you see, uh, oh yeah, there it is. Thank you. Uh, there was a uh, index on the, you know, people who have come in, you know, very important people, like the people who are important not only to the continent you're on now, but also the other continent that I've mentioned. Okay. Yeah. Are you not still not taking notes, no. Tiny? No. I think I I'm definitely totally awake. This is what happens when you don't die early, Tiny. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Junior's going to sneak up behind My sleep schedule has been totally fucked the last few days. Mm. You only had four hours of sleep, dude. Less, actually. Uh, I tried to get... I only really got, like, two hours of sleep last night, if that. See how? Damn you, dude. So... It's going well, then, I would say. <laughs> anyway! Yes, anyway. Allow us to move on the notion. Um, so I looked at the index... Uh, I'm gonna go. So there was gods on the left. There was history gods and religion, right. history. Yeah, why do I forget what I see when I see it? Gods to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am. <laughs> okay, so there's important people to the continent. There's history, agriculture, fishing on the right. On the left, right. it's gods, religion, and it's fucking gone. I need to write Enjoy. my own... Do I have to write my own fucking notes? I do. 
Oh, people, religion, gods, and pornos. No. <laughs> that was the basement. You missed it completely. Damn oh, it, man. Junior's going to go to the basement the fast way. He's going to punch the floor. <laughs> no, he's not. Punch the floor. Everyone falls to the ground floor. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not really doing that. I'm not doing that. Junior's many things, but he's not that stupid. He has an intelligence of six. He knows what he's doing. Oh. All right. Okay. Is, oh, is yeah. This, um... like, is, is, Luke, is Luke basically having a look? Or is he distracted? Or is he just trying to, edit, keep, try to calm down or relax? Luke's having a perusal. Uh, is he? Uh, these right. are the only things that stood out from the index size, so I would like to investigate these area, these these areas of books. Okay, so roll investigation for the religion and God. Be twenty for the night, so prepare for a bad roll. Oh no! Oh, um, these both these two books stand out to both of you. One is about uh, Schrodinger and the possible relation to, you know, time and well, it's all, the God, Schrodinger is obviously the god of time and faith. Um, yeah. It is also about how the that there are um, children of the gods where that have certain powers that can manifest, or they are just the material plane representation of these gods right and there are like like there are people who have been chosen in the past to either avert fate either avert like bad fate or i'm sure the or you know the other way of not avert them but ensure that these people reach their intended the end the end of their intended journey like say there is a certain drow who has been i don't know beaten to you know like beaten and he's about to die they go in they fight the off their attackers and they take the drow in to protect uh restore the health and then you know get back get that position back that's yeah, a kind of th that kind of thing there uh tiny yours is about the raven queen and her relationship with death mm -hmm. the most you know, the most important most important god Becca? Oh dear. Because that, that that one that one is the death god in this, and uh, like I said, another your know, acolyte or the Raven Queen's male counterpart for death in this campaign. So they share like the 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 Raven Queen and Becca share the same uh, role, but. Where the Raven Queen wants things just to run smoothly, and you know for their not people's natural end to come. Becca wants that same thing as well, but at the same time, he'd like to spice things up and have it be a bit more random, a bit a little more, more chaotic. Where bad things may happen so to good that... people. Fuck. Bad... What is that? Fuck. Basically, where the Raven Queen just wants it to run smooth and. When someone meets the end of their journey, she comes, takes them as an old friend, and departs to the afterlife with them. Where Vecca is just like, no, that's fa he he's feared to die in about 30 years. I want him dead now. Kill him. I want my fun with this soul. So, basically, it's uh, something different from... So, the Raven Queen, as Tiny will know from Campaign 1, where... The Raven Queen was the subordinate of Vecca. She's now elevated to equal to. Wow. So she is, while she is, you know, not exactly a friendly sight, she greets them, greets people who have met the end of their road and they are out of time. Their hourglass is empty and she just takes them away as a friend. She isn't going to kill them or anything yeah it's that's a, that's a nicer sight that's a i mean yeah you know she stops people suffering like well uh, she helps you, no she look i want to see big titty goth mummy okay 
Well, draw her then. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking draw her, Tiny. Fuck off, don't make me do shit. <laughs> oh, no. Do it. Well, let's... Well, what the work? That wasn't part of the deal. How dare you make me do things? Um, no, but yeah, I, I, I get what you mean. So, um, you know, the Raven Queen is there. She's nice and friendly, but Becker is just a little shit going, I want him dead now. I want to play with his soul. And the Raven Queen will probably be there and say, no, stop it. Bad. Yeah. So she kind of balances okay, it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, lawful, lawful neutral versus chaotic evil. Basically, yes. But Vecca doesn't always go, okay, Vecca knows that when the big bards are coming, he gleefully welcomes them. And the Raven Queen just goes, okay, you go have your fun. I'm just going to sit back, chill with a glass of wine and enjoy this sight. Because she knows these guys deserve what he's going to be given. Out. So it's, it's kind of like a gender-bent version of Persephone and Hades, except the Raven Queen isn't married. Because... Yeah. You can't <laughs> who tie doesn't her married women? She's a strong, independent, um, big titty goth mommy who don't need no man. Exactly. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, at the minute, we don't, we don't find anything like, like reasons for the goblins to, well, yeah. or goblins to be looking around in a li in the library, and it's it's. Ow. Fuck. Sorry, just put the inside of my gum. Or inside of my oh. mouth. Ah. I <laughs> like so like there's de definitely no one here. Again. No one, there's no corpses, no nothing. It is that getting is... a bit dark outside, so that's probably the reason why. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, there you hear this what we're on the history section yet. Fun? History. We're on the history section, have we? Oh, you haven't looked in the history or important sections. Uh, if, if you want to roll the investigation checks, of course. Sure. Okay. We need some information before we go back because we haven't got anything apart from Junior's picture book in this chapter so far. And and, uh, yeah, we, we, we picked up a couple of books. I mean, we've got that um, one that's written in. It's a goblin. So you've got the scroll and goblin, which uh, Junior has. The, book in, the two books in, in Sylvan. Uh, the one that you wanted with the Drow King, uh, not the Drow, the, the Dwarf Kingdom, and one with the Drow Kingdom that Tiny has, uh, surreptitiously, I'm just gonna say surreptitiously pushed up one of his sleeves. Right. Okay. Mm. Alright, um... I'm actually gonna make my own notes for that, because I'm gonna forget it the minute I see it. So... Um, can, I roll a, can I roll another perception check to see if, like, there's anything more than this up up on this floor like anything like there's like there's another floor or... you can check all right also, oh. uh, I, I did i did roll a 17 for um looking in the history so yeah um yeah no i'll get to you in a minute dan uh for okay. history uh you see many many books describing the different the history of the town of castle town uh, you see the that the first thing that wasn't actually that was actually built was actually the library, right? Because that wasn't originally a library; it was actually the first place where the the ruling body, the council, met. Okay. And when the castle after several decades, when the castle was built, they relocated to the castle, but gifted the town that had grown up around the um the library and the castle when the castle was built they gifted that to the town and made it a library and they after about a set this is like after several decades they invited people in like scholars notable people to come in and fill the book with different copies of books they bought multiple co they bought a lot of books to fill this so that the town would be very literate they wanted uh a very you know knowledgeable people working in the town because from what you've seen in this town they are treated very fairly they are treated they are taxed fair they grow everything they need 
what they can't they bring in so from what they've seen from what you've seen it's this has turned out to be a very good gift to the town right okay library's the oldest building pardon the library's the oldest building it yeah the library. oh no now i know that I'm, i feel kind of guilty me and meet cindelias <laughs> <laughs> I know how to fix this. More right, meat. I mean, I mean, yeah, more, more meat, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. He's got to step on the lumps, isn't he? All right, so Junior locates the lumps, and he's going to stamp very quietly, but f very hard, so he basically dislodges the bodies. Okay, roll the... Uh, roll the strength check. All right. Because Junior's going to fix what he broke. 12. Okay, Ooh. that fixes the first one. All you hear on the bottom one is <laughs> where the body just falls to the floor. Roll again for the second lump. Oh, God. 22. Someone might want to catch him because he's put his foot right through the floor. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, brilliant. I grab, I, I grab Lou. Tiny. Yep. You're being grabbed. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. Lou. Lou. Oh. What? <laughs> I've been grabbed. <laughs> I have been. Oh no! I've been grabbed. You feel that his head means like oh. Oh. Oh well. Things happen. <laughs> um. <laughs> I want to no 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 no. We'll do this, do this at some point later. Uh, how do you react, Tiny? Uh, well, would that be a dexterity or a? Yeah, like, yeah I mean, like I'm, 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 I'm uh, would, would I have to roll it? Since I'm actually trying to grab him, that'd be a strength for me. But it, for Tiny, it'd be a dex thing. He's trying to be if he's trying to be in the grab. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh, dexterity. Yeah, because you're trying to basically dodge it. Oh, well, I'm actually... <laughs> That's a nine. That's a six. No, I, 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 you, 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 you look out. Okay, I'll block this for you because um, when there's not, there's nothing graceful about either of us here. Junior like... goes out to grab Lou's cloak to stop him from falling. He falls face. Junior falls face first. Lou goes onto a Lou just backs up onto a table and falls back onto it. <laughs> I ripped like, the cloak. Though. Artie pecking at the side of his head, going, "What the fuck, man? You do you not fucking me? rip my cloak." Yeah. Oh, he I gets grabbed and I'm, his, when I'm falling down. It's gonna rip. His fingertips. No, that's the thing. You didn't grab me. I tripped over myself. Oh no. Junior's fingertips just touch your cloak. It's not enough to dislodge anything, so you're still wrapped up like a mummy. But you're just on your back, on a table, with Ari pecking at the side of your head, going, what the fuck, man? What are you doing to me? Um, can I uh, attempt to help Junior in some way? Like, grab his hand and fucking pull him up? You can. That would be a strength check. What do I do? I just, like, just let him hit me? I don't yeah, know. He's grabbing you, so he's going to try and yank yeah. you free. Oh, no. oh, 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 God, that is... Oh, that's, a, that's a failure. Oh, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. I actually need to rule oh. this now. Because you ruled a one. Oh, no, don't, 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 don't tell me he comes with me. <laughs> it seems that way. Oh, no. Boys, uh, I'm taking two people down. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> well, this isn't good because I rolled because uh, the higher it would have been, it would have been better for you. The lower, wait, uh, yeah, uh, that's not good. Actually, that's very not good because I rolled the higher, what well, higher severity, the better it is for you. The lower, the worse it is for you. You don't push. You don't grab him and pull him. You. Fall face down and push him further down. <laughs> You've tread him like a fucking nail. When he pushed down, he's 
He's on, he's going through the floor. Boys. <laughs> uh, oh no. Fantastic. So you just try to like a nail, just going, I'll help you! <laughs> Push them further down through the floor. So he's now with a. Am I or am I stuck in the floor? You are stuck in the floor. When oh, I Jesus Christ. So he's not in the floor with me. No, he lose oh. on a table. Yeah. <laughs> lose on the table Graceful getting assaulted like a... by his bird. Graceful like a fox. Okay, well, we're going to try and get Buddy Jr. out the floor, so, you know. Strength check? No, no. And, and, and Junior's like, no, no. Do you, you, no, no. You focus on uh, finding stuff. I'll fix this. Um, Should I make the hole yeah. bigger? Before you do anything, you hear this voice. Why is there a pair of feet in the floor? Why is there a pair of feet in the ceiling? Reinforcements have came. Back more station. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, okay, so how far is like the like how far oh, down is the is it from the first floor and the second floor? About twenty feet. Like okay, no, 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 Dan, Dan, wait until they come up the stairs and then we're gonna push you down, you're gonna sneak up them back and push them. <laughs> oh, that is a good idea. Uh, no, because uh, I'm, I'm thinking like, what would I need to roll like if to land safely? That would be a dexterity check. Cool. So, so as you are trying to, as you, as the two of you are now trying to either push Junior down or get him up, this person. Comes up the stairs. Right. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing? Why are there corpses down there? Where's the light? Why there no more corpses up here? <laughs> there isn't any yet. Right. Are you? It, are you it, inviting more corpses? No. I'm just glad there isn't any. She comes up to you. And I shit you not with a nat 20. She grabs you by the scruff of your neck, pulls you out. She picks you like a vegetable. Cool. Then she then she just sets you down next to the hole. Please don't make any more holes. This building is very no old and So noted. She's like, no, yeah, no promises. Like, no, I'm gonna go. So noted. So, what are you guys doing in here? We heard, I heard tale of a fight not that long ago. I came down to investigate. Guys, I see... this I didn't meet them in the session. It's Remy. She's the general of the uh, the full fucking army of the Donid Dynasty. Does she know that we're trying to investigate the continent or not? No. Don't worry, Junior's got this. What a good looking yeah. guard doing here in a place like this. He... <laughs> He's gonna flirt. We're just um, looking for some reading material. We're trying to educate Junior, you see. He found a book oh. on pickup line. Yep, see? Pretty book. He, 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 shows, he shows his he book that he. We read the um the king earlier. <laughs> Ye hungry um, caterpillar. I don't think that would impress anyone. You don't know. It is a very complicated book. book. She's six foot five. Do you know this five looking down is... at you? Yeah. Do you know this caterpillar is very hungry? Yes, I read that when I was a child, many Ooh, years ago. Is he? I'm proud of you, Junior. <sighs> um, roll perception check. Oh no. She's gonna read my mind. No, she's not. She's gonna Five. read your mind. What? And someone didn't think to warn me she could do that. Hmm. Nope. All right. Five. So. See, so breaks Junior's. Neck. Okay. Uh, Josh, Tiny, do you want to roll it? Yeah. Oof. Right. Chinese the only one. Yeah, Tiny's, Tiny's napping, Ken. 
Friday. Tiny. You English scrub. I'm just scrub. enjoying the sun because I haven't seen it in a week. Yeah. <laughs> What's the sun? We've, seriously, we've had some pretty bad rain lately. So have um, we today. This has been very bad. We've had flooding down here. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> We're going to tell the wrong perception. Oh, perception. Yeah, which is all of the fun thing. Wait, no, it's not perception, that's persuasion. So we never not uh, There we go. Fire by the way. Doesn't matter. Uh, oh, no. Darkman is the only one who sees this. He smells smoke. Oh my god, mm. she set the book on, in the basement on fire. Junior's plan was a success. No, it's coming. It's like it's coming from her. Oh. You can smell it, and it's like coming downwind from her. She's um, the dragon. Oh my god, she's the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. That's well, that was my god. instant thought. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Simon, is she a dragon? I don't know. Can we check if she's a dragon? She's a right. using a six foot five human woman smelling a smoke, and you assume she's a dragon. <laughs> well, apparently they fucking D and D. Everything's a dragon. All right, Tiny, you be I'm quiet. Gonna... Okay, you, upon seeing this, Junior's gonna grapple the woman. <laughs> Go a strength no check. No way. Would it be, would it be, would it be athletics? Because it's a yeah. Roll athletics. Sorry. Seventeen. Uh, yeah. You hold. You've got a hold. You've got a held. Why? Why have we done this? We have no reason to. She is held, and she's gonna say, "Why are you holding me? Is this a hug?" I'm going to suplex you down the hole. <laughs> what? <laughs> Please don't do that, Jimmy. Please don't suplex. Oh the beyond so... abnormal fucking anything superpower goddess who's in front of us. Okay, she turns and looks at you. Her eyes glow bright red. Roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh my god, he's going to die. <laughs> 20. Oh, not 20. Motherfucker! You, you just feel the fear take hold of you, and then she's like, nope, I'm not afraid of this one. Suplex time! She rolled a nat 20, she stopped you instantly. It's just like, she, as, she, as, she, as she feels you lift her up, she just puts all her weight down, and you just go, Whoa! Does she feel as heavy as a dragon would feel? <laughs> no, she's I just... She's just used all the weight she has in her body to force herself back to her feet. Right. So she is literally stopping it. All Stop right. that. Please. Roll the perception... Persuasion check. Who are you, the DM? I am now. <laughs> Can you beat... Okay, she rolled an 18. Can you beat that? And your insight. W it... Okay, let's Wait find off. out. Nope. Nah. She... Stop that. She's literally saying this in a very authoritative voice. Stop that. Alright. You, you persuaded is. Dan, maybe stop fighting. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. Can we, can we question why she's here? Cool. I'm gonna. St I'm gonna maintain the grapple though. <laughs> <It's just laughs> right, yeah. Okay. Simon, I'm gonna ask why she's here. I heard oh. that there was a fight and that there were goblins involved and there was an explosion. Inside I can't. Fight is, fight is here. A little bit of an overstatement, but yes, there were goblins, and yes, there was an explosion. My apologies. 
Paul's cube, please get him to let me go. Yeah, Ma'am. Did you hear the flicker? I mean, I'm really stronger. Yes, Junior, you're stronger. Hi, chat. I push it down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I'm not joking. I'm joking. I'm not going to do that. She, before like, you push it, she gra she kicks you in the stomach, stunners you. I was about you to say. I was, <laughs> I was about gonna, to I say. Gonna, I've had a short rest at this point, right? Because I was, I was joking. I wasn't actually going to do it. I know I was because if 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 there's like I've had because I've if if I had had a short rest at this point I would have fucking cast whole person on you. No, you remember how well that worked the last time. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, you were casting on Remy. You didn't cast it on uh, Junior. Nah. Okay, so you let it go. Yeah, I let it go. Yeah. Thank you. I like to patrol the town, like the town's constabulary, to show that not everyone in the Sovereign's Court is just high and mighty and wish to rule from the castle. I want to be amongst the people and I wish to see and help where I can. I roll an insight check. Okay, roll it. Fifteen. Uh, she's not gonna. Hi she's not hiding this because this is what she likes to do. It's something she does. She yeah. has been. If you'd ask, if you ask anyone, they will say she does this. She comes out. She acts like a member of the local castle town constabulary who are just there to help and to investigate things like this. She likes to get her hands dirty rather than just go. Plot things from up on high. Lou, Lou hears, I want to be amongst the people, looks at Junior and thinks to himself, that is a mistake. <laughs> so she's, she's, she's from this town, yeah? She knows she knows the ins and outs and whatnot. She knows the ins and outs. Can I talk about there's no one working in the library? Because it's the middle of the fucking night. No, we got here in the daytime. It's only just getting dark. Ah, uh, did it? Well, yes. Uh... And and why also? Why was the goblins here? Like security, library, potentially really precious information. Like that is something I will investigate. How the goblins got in, I do not know. Where everyone is, mm -hmm. again, I do not know. But I will find out. Also, a word of warning. She looks at all of you. All four of you. Do not trust Taldor. Right, okay. Honest, trust Taldor. Do not. <laughs> Do. She Ooh, looks at you again. His hand on his face, on Junior's face. <laughs> uh... Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Lou, Lou, Lou. Hand. And I'm gonna put Lou. Lou, 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 Lou just holding hands now. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Lou. <laughs> nah nah, I'm just I'm just grabbing your hand. You're holding you hands. Degrees. You, you degenerates. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> this is took a funny turn. <laughs> <laughs> for, the, oh, for the last God. several months I have seen him do things vanish I don't know where he goes not even the sovereign knows but do oh. not trust him mm -hmm. okay thanks for the warning yeah Hand yeah. tight. Hand a squeeze. I'll never forget my summer in Cattle Town. As <laughs> <God> God intended. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, I need to play Metal Gear Solid 5 again. Just do that whole Afghanistan experience. Do that whole Afghanistan map again. Right. Um, is she going to stay here? Is she going to leave? What's she doing? She will stay and she is going to investigate as much as she can, considering the fact of some of the goblins are basically nothing more than viscera and there are two that have been just planted in the ceiling after they've died. I should have been it's, 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 yeah, Judy's just been on so long. like, oh man, who, who, who's done this? They're sick bastards. <laughs> I know you did. Literally, Remy looks at you. I know you did this. I mean, he's not. He's not keeping eye contact. He's like, she's not even. Her eyes like, aren't even glowing. She, she's just staring you down. She knows. He's like. He's like but you <laughs> couldn't do this. <laughs> she put. She grabs one of the goblins. Would you like me to show you? Yes. But and with the nat twenty, she not only grabs the goblin you kicked onto the floor, she whips it up to the ceiling so hard it makes the dent, but it falls back down. <laughs> well, it doesn't uh, fucking stick its head into the into the ceiling. Um, like, he, he, Junior is that's a head. That's the like, goblin you that you your know, Eldritch blasted the head off of. It's just oh, like yeah. wham. He says that. But Lou Junior's, just Junior... Lou just puts his hand on his face like, oh my god, there's another one. Not impressed. Mine stuck on the ceiling. <laughs> I wasn't going for that. She just smiles at you. Sure. sure you know that sure little friendly not. smile she gave you when you were fighting. Whilst uh, three of you were trying to fight her, Junior has met his rival, and he is going to beat her. Good luck. So I'm Ooh, saying, sorry. Hey man, I'm I'm a venomous. I'm giving both males and females a proper beating. So what you're saying oh, is you're beating off guys and girls? Okay. Yeah, boys. Oh, I'm 12. Yes, you must have deed. <laughs> I don't even know if Dan got that or he's just choosing to ignore it. Bit of column A, bit of column B. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so, you leave the library, it is getting dark. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You see the... um orange hue in the sky saying that the sun has literally met the horizon giving it a nice kiss and going under it mm -hmm. oh. that's cute ah, now I'm thinking about Metal Gear Solid 5 did I tell you about what happened in uh, one of the playthroughs I did that's very uh, vague it was, it was literally one uh, where you go into a base I tried one guy, tried another guy they both fell down and it was basically them ass to face every time. As my, and I literally just said, as my mum was walking in, I won't forget my summer in Afghanistan where I fell in love, as gay God intended. <laughs> and my mum would just then walked out and went, what? Um, are we going back to the end? Yeah, I think, I think we're just going to... End of the end, I'm guessing. Uh, yep. So, if you want to go back to the end, mm -hmm. yeah. Do I have an actual thing I, for it? Oh okay, yeah. So, as we're as we're leaving, I realize um, Junior's still holding um, Lou's hand. <laughs> you do look cute uh, together. Yeah. Cool. As he as he that goes, he's gonna do a ball tap on Lou. Oh no. Fuck that. Oh no. On arm strike, yeah? On arm strike. 25. So, you punch Lou in the balls. <laughs> you literally just go. Ball, ball, bang! Right in the balls for how many points of damage are you taking? 
off this squishy, squishy warlock. Oh, boy. What? I'm, I'm not raging, what? so it means it's a seven. As Lou takes seven points of damage, he grabs his crotch. <laughs> and goes fetal. Yeah, no, Lou, Lou, no, Lou doesn't even do that. He just... <laughs> He just, he, he, the color drains from his face. He just collapses to his knees, falls flat on his face. <laughs> I'm at, I'm at eight health right now. Oh, the only damage done this session has been done by our own team. Yeah. Why the, what the fuck did I do to you? <laughs> I, think, I, I think it's just like the pretty Jason parts to the face is like, you just like, I'm going to teach you a lesson here. <laughs> So you nearly kill him by punching him in the balls. <laughs> He's not having children. <sighs> I think I'll disallow that one. <laughs> if you want to just give yourself the seven hit points back, Tiny. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just it's basically a tap, but he's, he's like, he's, he's, you just go fetal, but like, yeah. It does hit, it's just more the fact of it's a surprise. You've cut your, your balls. You're on the floor going. Ah. <laughs> there, was, there was no there was no chance for cupping. This was this is I have been, I am now passed out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay, I'll I'll pick him up. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is like He's the, had a This is like the fucking legend of Vox Machina where Vax and Grog do this. So you have a two-point head start on him, Junior. Yeah, I need to space these out. Hey, just just so you are you are aware, I have fucking Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast does one d ten points, <laughs> and as I get higher and higher, it only that the amount of times I can cast that goes up. So you might be able to punch me in the balls. I can snipe you from 120 <laughs> feet away. I like what I've started. I like what I've started. Oh, this is a nice team rivalry. Also, I've been throwing farts at your face. Yeah. I can do poison spray. <laughs> I know, but what I mean, he's actually more? been holding what? himself back a lot. Dan, you might not want to anger the boy. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, but what hits more? You get hit by the balls, or me just getting poisoned? Oh, wait, you know I what think... I can do? Since we, since we've, uh, since, oh. uh, since uh, we've had a short rest of it, uh, I, put... Sorry. I don't think you've had a short rest yet. You haven't got to that point. But you're still oh, not totally that far out of combat. Tiny, save oh. it, save it for later. <laughs> save it for next session, yeah. Tiny. Well, you know, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've shown it already. But uh, uh, no, I've just got I've I've got hellish rebuke. No, oh, that's a cantrip. No, that's not a cantrip. That. It's a it's, it's a level one spell. Do you still have that? Uh no, no, because uh, so warlocks only have I'm they, well, at the moment I only have two spell slots, but they are spe- they are cast at max. So. No, I don't have any spell slots because I, we haven't taken a short rest, apparently. But I could have Hellish Rebuked, technically. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, imagine, so imagine you punch me in balls and then your fist catches fire. <laughs> oh! Fire hot! Ha! Ah, fire indeed hot! Yeah, man. I feel like Juno would be like, yeah, I hit you so hard I've caught my pan on fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're back at the inn. You've gone back to the inn. Tiny is still somewhat passed out. Lou is still somewhat passed out from the shock of getting a two-point deduction to his balls. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I kind of want to keep Tiny in this. We've got plans for him. <laughs> just I would just, just the pants and fall his balls, though. I'm just waiting for Tiny to go. Ball check, bang, and doing that to you. And you're going, oh, that's three. That's three yeah, points. <laughs> oh, God. 
Um, Plans for next session. Yeah, no, Reve- revenge is a d- dish best served, not known. Um, <laughs> so, um, you put Tiny in his, you put Lou in his room, passed out, and you just leave him there on his bed. Are oh, you just going, what the fuck did you do that for? Just looking at what the fuck did you do that for at Junior. Junior <laughs> goes to his room to look at his picture books. I, 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 does he? Does the bird speak English? Like a comment, or he's just like giving me a look? I give you a little look. It's a fucking right. bird. What do you think? All right, all right, all right. So this guy giving you a little look right now. It's like really. Because <laughs> okay, so since I'm a, I'm a totem uh, warrior, I can do this. Let's have a look. See. Because I know I can cast two spells because of being a totem warrior. I think one of them, one of them is speak with animals. But mm-hmm. I'll save that for later. And he gives the bird a smile. I mean, Luke, Luke, Luke's telepathically commu- uh, linked. That's the reason why he talks to his bird. But All right. <laughs> it's just like, hey, does the bird talk? Does the fucking bird speak English? Like, what the fuck do you think? I <laughs> it's D and D. Birds can speak. <laughs> No, I know it's fair, but it, it's it's just funny. It like out of context, like just that. Oh, does the bird speak English? It's like, what the fuck do you think? That's <laughs> anyway, oh, it is a fucking magic bird. So, hmm. one sec, I'll just drag you all back to the end. There you go. Uh. So. You guys go for your rest. You hear snores coming from Wynn and Ayanami's room. And that will be where we end the session. Mm-hmm. So it ends we're... it gloriously. <laughs> With Lou getting punched in the dick. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that's really our last action. <laughs> the, oh, the last... The only punch thrown in this session is against a teammate. <laughs> also, just so you know, I did roll for dick size earlier, and I did get a natural twelve on a tw- on a d twelve. So, god damn, oh, okay. that's gone down from a d. That's gone down <laughs> a bit now. Shrinkage issues. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> he lost two inches from impact alone. <laughs> it went turtle. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, I did. I did do it. I, I fucking because I did it for um, goddamn uh, last campaign for for uh. Was that something when you walked in on Ivana in the uh in a bath or a bathhouse? Yeah, 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 it was. It was for. It was for the uh, reference for the art. I'm just like, oh, hey, I wonder how my, I wonder how big uh his dick would be. <laughs> so I rolled it. Um, oh, no. I, I gotta stop talking. I gotta fucking cough up a lung. Yeah. All right, all right. So it's, we've ended uh, the session good... here. Yep. It's been You'll a good have time. a long rest, so all your HP comes back. All mm-hmm. everything comes back. Congratulations! Yeah, cool. You have beat the ca- beat the session just <laughs> through pure investigation and a dick punch. Hey man, that's how I. Oh good. Alright, catch you there. See you later. Alright.